Well, sorry I keep making these at night, but um, <coughs> that's just how it ends up somehow. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to share this. Uh, I didn't need this at all, but uh, the price was right. And, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. It's a, it's a 44, I think. 44 John Deere H. And I'm not much on John Deere. I've got a couple of them. But, uh, uh, it's not that I don't like them per se, it's just not many of them come up for sale here. When they do, they're pretty pricey. But Anyhow, so this is a... Uh, I think a 44H. Um, clearly, it had some kind of implement on it. I don't know what kind. Maybe some. Yeah, I don't know. There were some planters laying around that place, but I think they went to the A. But it's got a PTO and hydraulics, so that's kind of interesting. Seems like a lot of them don't have hydraulics, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not. Not the John Deere guy. It does. There's a hydraulic deal there, and uh, uh, pretty well. I've got all the controls freed up. The hydraulic one and throttle moves good. The clutch, PTO levers stick in, and it's stuck in gear. So I don't know. That may end up being something. A little more involved than they would enjoy. It is what it is. Um, I don't know. It's probably just been sitting in that gear so long. It's probably just going to be worked around a little bit, get it freed up. But uh, I'm trying to think. What's the the good things? Is the motor was stuck, but not bad. I already got it loose. It's turning over. So. <clears throat> that's a positive and the bad things are well the radiator's covered up although it's not amazing looking in the car to clean up had to put a new neck on it it's pretty rusty in there I don't know that's to be determined <clears throat> I'm guessing they just had straight water in there and just didn't fare well over time obviously Oh, it's electric start too, and I think I, that may end up changed. I don't know yet. It's kind of cool. It has all the options, but I really want a hand start one. But we'll worry about that later. So the bad are the tank is open and full of water, but then again, that means it's still holding liquid. So maybe it can be cleaned out and lined or something, and it'll be all right. Uh, we'll find out. I'm guessing it was a dual fuel. That's both of those. I don't know. I don't know that much about John Deere. <clears throat> I have some two cylinders. That's at 730 over there, and I have some bees, but the bees are in like a million pieces. I didn't take them apart. It's just I got them. But uh, I don't know. I've always wanted kind of an unstyled or a H, just something different, kind of cool to play with. I use a lot of my farm also for stuff and John Deere uh, uh, I'd like to have some more of them but I just want them to play with to play with the 730 and, and this is kind of the same thing but anyway I'll make more videos in the light of it I just kind of wanted to introduce it <coughs> and for those wondering this is number 46 uh, if you get my meaning anyway thanks for watching and I'll do some videos of this hopefully I have it running by the weekend